Hey guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Nick Leary. Now today we're having a look at the voice assistant in your Mercedes. And more specifically, the Hey Mercedes voice assistant. How can I help? That one. So you may have owned your Mercedes-Benz for a while or have just picked it up and are quite curious about that Hey Mercedes voice assistant. Well, there aren't complete command lists detailed in the manual or anything like that. There are a couple, but it doesn't detail all the cool things you can do with it. So in this video today, we're gonna to run through the top 10 Hey Mercedes commands that I personally use every day. And starting at number one, you can change the ambient lighting with your voice. So for example, I've got the uh, blue on at the moment. Let's change this to a different color. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Can you change the ambient lighting to red, please? Okay, I'm changing the color. And just like that, it will change the color. Now number two on the list is if you want to navigate somewhere using the sat nav. Now you could do this for postcodes, uh, road names, towns, or even your home if you've programmed it in. Now what happens if you don't know the postcode? Well, you can actually give it a point of interest, like a place name or something. So, hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Navigate me to Mercedes Benz of Pool. Here is what I found. Where do you want to go? And then you can choose one on the list. Now, next up on the list is adding an intermediate destination. So this is basically if you have um, one destination set in the center, but you want to add another place to go to along the way, like a stopover. So to give you an idea, I've got um, the kind of the middle of pool, uh, the nearest town set on the sat nav at the moment. So let's add a stop along the way. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Can you add Mercedes-Benz of Pool as an intermediate destination? Here is what I found. Where do you want to go? Intermediate destination has been set. Route guidance is going to restart. And just like that, I've got the main destination, or my finished destination, in the middle of Pool, with a stopover at Mercedes-Benz of Pool. Now at number four, this is if you want to change the climate control using your voice. So I've got the set to 18 degrees at the moment and say you wanted to turn up the heat. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Can you change the temperature to 26 degrees, please? Temperature is 26 degrees. As easy as that. Now changing the temperature in here is one thing, but what about viewing the weather forecast? You can do that on the Hey Mercedes voice assistant. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? What's the weather today, please? Today it will be partly cloudy in pool with a low of 13 and a high of 23 degrees. And then you can scroll across here and actually view the weather by the hour. But this is okay, of course you can see the weather outside and maybe you know the weather for where you are. So what about the weather for somewhere else? Hey Mercedes. How can I help? What's the weather in London today, please? Today it will be rainy in London with a low of 15 and a high of 23 degrees. So you can get a forecast in another town or city. Next up is changing the radio or the music playback on your phone, for example. So say I'm listening to a specific radio station and I want to change it to something else. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Can you change the radio station to BBC Radio 2, please? And it'll change it just like that. So what about if you're playing music off of your phone, for example? Well, that's quite easy. Just make sure the music is playing in the first place. However, one thing to note is the actual type of app that you're using on your phone. So for example, if you have all the music stored locally on your actual device, the actual files, uh, then if you plug it in, you should be able to give it a command and ask it to play specific artists. However, if you're streaming music, say for example, you're streaming new 
music that isn't on your phone from Apple Music, Spotify or Amazon Music or any of these things and it's not stored on your phone then the only thing you'll be able to do is go forward a track or back a track and the commands for that are Hey Mercedes How may I help you? Next track and then you can do the same thing for the previous track by saying previous track. Next on the list is heated seats. Now you can turn this on for the driver or passenger and also adjust the level as well. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Can you turn on the driver's heated seat level two, please? Driver's seat heating at level two. There you go. Now, of course, while you're driving, sometimes it may not be safe or even legal to use your phone at the wheel. So why not get the voice assistant to make that call for you from your phone book? Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Call Mercedes-Benz of Pool. OK, I am calling Mercedes-Benz of Pool. Thank you for calling Mercedes-Benz of Pool. Now, one other very unique integration with MBUX is a thing called What Three Words. Now, if you don't know what What Three Words is, I'll link it up above. So I urge you to check that video out if you want to know more about how that works. But in a very, very simple way, postcodes take you usually to an area. So I'm actually surrounded by a load of houses at the moment, and there's probably one postcode for the area. And then, of course, you've got the house numbers, and sometimes it may not be very, very clear. So what What Three Words does is take you directly to a square on the floor, a very, very small square dotted around the whole of planet Earth. So the square of Mercedes-Benz Pool's front door, so not just their car park, the actual front door to get in is twice hugs spins. So to navigate there on what three words with the MBUX system, hey Mercedes. How can I help? Navigate me to what three words twice hugs spins. Here is what I found. Where do you want to go? Let's go. And that will take you directly to the front door and not just the area. Now, of course, I do detail in that What Three Words video on how to get these What Three Words, uh, but you basically download the What Three Words app. But nonetheless, it's a very simple way and very fast way of actually navigating to a specific point on the map. Now, of course, a very, very useful feature, again, while driving, is if you want the Mercedes system to read out text messages for you. So as long as you've got this enabled in settings on your phone, so on most Android products, it'll prompt you when you first link it. But on Apple products, it's a little bit different. So you need to go to settings, Bluetooth, and then find your car in this list, tap on the I, and then toggle on show notifications. Next time you're in a car, any messages that come through will then come through to MBUX and then you can get it to read them out. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Can you read out my last text message? And then she'll read it out to you. So all of these commands are really, really good, but the German engineers have put some kind of Easter eggs and some jokes in there as well. So speaking of jokes, hey Mercedes. How can I help? Can you tell me a joke? German engineers don't joke with cars. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Can you tell me another joke? Why did the tomato blush? Because it saw the salad dressing. Ah, so it does tell jokes. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? What do you think of Audi? The same as you do. Otherwise, we would not be sitting here. And there we go, guys. That concludes this week's video on the top 10 commands that I personally use on the Hey Mercedes voice assistant. Do you have your own commands? Do you use it in a slightly different way? Let me know in the comment section down below. But again, as always, huge shout out to Sandan Mercedes-Benz for the supply of the cars you see in the videos. As without them, I wouldn't really be able to make these videos for you all to see. So again, huge shout out to them. But guys, as always, thanks again for watching. Do hit that subscribe button and of course that like button as it really helps the video out. But as always, see you next week.